This morning we continue our series Heart Watch. The American Heart Association says cardiovascular disease kills 16,000 women under the age of 55 every year. We're joined by Belinda Jenkins who suffered a heart attack at the age of 26 and cardiologist Dr. Suzanne Steinbaum. Good morning to you both. Good morning. morning. Belinda, I want to start with you because six years ago you were just a typical 26 year old working, going to school. Yes. Tell me about the day that everything changed. Um, I had gotten up to go get dressed and had excruciating pains coming out of my chest, um, shortness of breath, and was wondering what was going on. You know, um, I eventually ended up passing out, and as I woke up, I had the third symptom of vomiting and ended up saying, oh my God, I think I'm having a heart attack. I ended up calling 911 and was rushed to the emergency room and it was concluded I had five blocked arteries and needed quintuple bypass. Quintuple bypass surgery at the age of 26. Yes. Doctor, is that unusual or normal? Certainly it's very unusual in some sense to be 26 years old and have bypass surgery. But certainly what we know are with the increasing risk factors, especially in Belinda's case with, with diabetes, um, the incidence of heart disease really increases. And diabetes is in fact almost a coronary artery disease equivalent. So you had a major risk factor, which was diabetes, but yes. because you were so young, you didn't even think that you could be at risk for heart disease Not at or all. heart attack. I mean, I've been diabetic since I was two years old. Okay. So, you know, had I been someone diagnosed at the age of 40 and having a heart attack 26 years later, it would probably make more sense, you know. And so going into the emergency room, the first thing they think automatically at the age that I was at was that it was a drug-related thing or that... Um, Even the doctors know. didn't think yes. this 26-year-old yes. could be having a heart attack. Exactly. That's exactly. crazy. But looking back now, Belinda, you say that you had symptoms that you now know were early warning early, signs. Yes. Doctor, let's look at some of them. We have, we've put them up on a graphic. First of all, it's not just you know the, the chest clutching that you associate with heart attacks. Weeks before, they could have pain in the jaw, shoulder or back, nausea, unexplained dizziness or fatigue, recurring chest pain. You had all of these, Belinda, yes. right? Shortness of breath is always something that we have to think about. Heart disease in women may, in fact, look a little differently. It's not that typical clutching chest pain that we often think of with a man. It's very important to understand if you have any changes in symptoms, any change in your activity, any ability or not an ability to do an activity that you're usually comfortable with, think about your heart, especially if you have these risk factors, diabetes, high cholesterol, family history. It's very, very important to dismiss it, as we often do, especially because Belinda was so young. Exactly. Why not get it checked out? Exactly. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Belinda.